Hey everyone, we're in the Zip Farm today and I want to talk to you about dry nutrients and how to mix them and some tips and tricks on how to use them in your farm. Here in the Zip Farm, we like to use dry or salt-based nutrients. We find they're typically more affordable. Um, they have a better shelf life or they're more shelf stable. And they offer a little bit more versatility in how you mix your nutrients over typical pre-mixed liquid nutrient. When using a recirculating hydroponic system, nutrients are used up by the plant and need to be replenished into the solution. Oftentimes, this is measured using an EC value or electroconductivity. So salts alter the electroconductivity. When the EC value drops, more nutrients are added by a dosing pump. The dosing pumps maintain the pH and EC values of the solution and constantly are adding nutrients to our reservoir. Similarly to liquid premix nutrient solutions, we break our solutions into concentrated A and B stock solutions. The reason for this is because some salts don't get along too well when mixed in high concentrations. Um, a good example of this is calcium with any sulfates or um, phosphates in another solution. So for example, calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate at a high concentration will actually bind and precipitate out of the solution forming a sludge. They're fine later on when dosed downstream into the low concentration of the reservoir, but initially they need to be kept into two separate solutions. Because this reaction can occur, we like to mix three separate salts into two concentrated stock solutions, or our A and our B. The three salts that we use are magnesium sulfate, calcium nitrate, and an NPK blend, either a lettuce mix or hydroponic blend for all of your micronutrients and your macronutrients. Next, we're gonna show you the steps on how to mix these fertilizer mixes into two separate solutions for general purpose hydroponic growing. The recipe we're gonna to use to get our uh, desired mix is uh, using the calcium nitrate, magnesium sulfate, and the NPK mix. So for our stock A solution, we're gonna mix 300 grams of magnesium sulfate and then 600 grams of the NPK Master Blend Lettuce Mix. So to start, we're gonna use our scale. Um, it's been teared to zero with our, our bowl on there. We're gonna take our magnesium sulfate and bring it up to 300 grams. Now that it's at 300 grams measured out, we like to fill the pail halfway full with hot water. Hot water helps um, minerals like, or salts like magnesium sulfate and calcium nitrate dissolve a lot easier. Uh, they can be dissolved in cold water, it just takes a lot more mixing and stirring. Um, it's important to separately mix the magnesium sulfate from the NPK blend um, so that they don't precipitate out or bind before they're fully dissolved in the solution. So we'll add our magnesium sulfate. And then we're going to fill this up with more water and then mix it. Now that we've topped off the bucket, um, you want to mix your magnesium sulfate in until it's fully dissolved before adding the next nutrient. We like to use this paddle mixer or a paint mixer on a drill. It tends to speed the process up considerably. Some people like to use a submersible pump to mix it around as well. That works great as well. Just speeds up the process because it can take a little while to get it to dissolve. Now that we've dissolved our magnesium sulfate fully, we can add our master blend uh, lettuce mix to the formula. So we're gonna measure out 600 grams of this and then add it to the bucket and repeat the process. Now that we've finished mixing our B solution, we just wanna make sure the water levels on both buckets are equally the same. Um, this is important because the doser doses both nutrients at the exact same time, so the water level itself will actually affect the concentration of the nutrients in each pail. 
The total volume of water in the pails is not necessarily as important as the ratio of fertilizer is, as long as the volume of water is the same. We could increase the volume of this water with the same nutrients and it would just still dose at the same rate because it maintains a certain level of EC or electroconductivity and will keep dosing even a lower concentrated solution as long as the ratios of these two pails are the same. We can mix double the amount of the nutrients in the, both of these pails and it would probably last twice as long. This is just what we found is the appropriate amount to last us about a week but is still manageable to mix and dissolve fully into the water without any precipitate or any solids being left over in the pail. Now that our mixtures are complete, we can place the lids back on both pails, insert the doser lines, and make sure that the nutrient is being brought up through the doser appropriately and into our reservoir. Once we have everything placed back in and check that it's working properly, we're good to go. Now that we've replaced the pails with our stock solutions, we've confirmed that there's nutrients running through the lines and that the dosing pumps are working appropriately. We're good to go and we won't have to mix nutrients for about another week. Once again, thanks for watching and be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and follow us on social media. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to comment them below. Thanks for watching.